uh, honorable Osoros and becoming behavior in Kisi is an is an welcomed. For the first few months, the Kisi County have experienced a rather unusual spate of violent incidents, death and injuries to innocent people orchestrated by MP of South Mogrango, Honorable Sirpanus Osoro. Honorable Osoro uses his position as the majority whip in the National Assembly to undermine other elected leaders, harass members of the public and cause mayhem everywhere he goes. He unleashed terror on people even where it's not necessary. And his childish behavior is now unbecoming and unwelcome. We have noticed incident where Honorable Soro has directly unleashed his goons on people and the public institutions. Among the goons he uses are criminals wanted for murder charges but still walk freely because they enjoy an ultimate protection from him. Two months ago, at Nyamarambe, in his constituency, goons hired by Honorable Soro stormed the Nduru Level 4 hospital, a facility that serves thousands of people, harassed patients and medical staff, and destroyed property worthy and surmounted amount. Some medical personnel, Dr. Mutunga and Matiko, who were trapped inside the hospital, escaped death by a whisker when the police swung into action and prevented the goons from touching the hospital. Police literally averted, that, averted what could have been an ugly incident that could have even led to the death. The goons were arrested and taken to, into police custody, but surprisingly all of them were bailed out by Honorable Osoro after issuing threats to the helpless police officers. Three weeks ago, known goons who enjoyed protection from him, Osoro and, his, and uh, with whom he poses photographs and uh, posts in social media platform, accosted a young man, a border border operator, and hacked him to death. His mistake was just wearing an orange t-shirt that had Governor Simbarati's picture. On Tuesday this week, Honre Bosoro and his goons, who were, well, who were welding crude weapons, including bows and arrows, stormed the funeral service of the late Mze Ayema, the father of Boikanga Ward MCA, Honre Bopolo Kombo. He arrived in a manner that showed he was coming for war. And with total disrespect to the old man and the over 4,000 mourners who were present, he tried to stop Governor Simba from addressing the mourners. And when this failed, his goons began hurling stones, hailing stones and, the, and other projectiles, including arrows at the mourners. In the mayhem, that ensured people were injured, women suffered broken limbs, and vehicles belonging to mourners damaged. It was a bad incident and very disrespectful to the deceased who was respected by members of the society. He then flew back to Nairobi on a chopper only to be seen leading the Bunge Praise and Worship Choir at the National Brea Breakfast, which is supposed to be a solemn event for, for repentance and forgiveness. He attacked people and left many with injuries, mark you, his own constituents. As if this was not enough, he took his uncaught behavior to police officers whose only mistake was to stop him from causing bloodbath at the funeral. He started sending intimidating texts to the area OSPD, Mr. Samson, Rakunga, calling him names and blaming him for interfering with his work. He threatened to have him transferred. Yes, these threats have borne fruits and the dedicated public servant whose calling is Utumishi Kwawote has been recalled to the police headquarters without any posting. Our question is, who is protecting Honorable Osoru? Why is he 
Marudin Kisi County, which has an elected governor, senator, women representative, MPs, and MCAs, and terrorizing everyone who doesn't conform his uncouth childish behavior. Why does the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jaffet Kome, listen to him and act on his instructions when he knows that violence and attacks of innocent people is unlawful? Why is the CS interior and the coordination of the national government, Professor Kithule Kindiki, quiet on this? On this? Kisi County people are hurting, and the silence of Professor Kindiki is raising eyebrows. Therefore, we as the leaders from Kisi County are demanding the immediate arrest of Honorable Soro to be, prosecu to be prosecuted for violence on people and uh, protecting criminals who are in the wanting list of police. We are giving the government 24 hours to arrest this goon in the name of the government chief whip in the National Assembly and uh, make him face the law. Failure to which we shall know that we are on our own and defend ourselves. If it will not have been arrested, if we will not have been arrested by the expire of our ultimatum, we shall present the petition to the president to have the IG Kome removed from office for abating and condoning acts of violence and crime. We also call upon the Independent Police Oversight Authority, IPOA, to defend the police officers from leaders who use their powers to intimidate and harass them. Police officers must be allowed to protect lives of Wanainchi and their property, and not to be used as puppets for those who seek abuse of power. To Mr. Osoru, we want to tell him power is transit. Thank you. Thank you.